What's going on everybody? This is 40B Nasty. I'm here to give you a two week update after I've done my Chato reactor off the back, which is my out of take refugium. I'm here to give you a couple test results that I found to be important for this whole thing that I've been doing. And that is my phosphates that I'm going to be testing with my Elos Pro Phosphate test kit. I'm going to be adding 10 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten cap that right away because it does have a corrosive symbol on it this is the uh, powder reagent I'm going to be using the four the point four milliliter side I'm get a scoop of that level it off Put that in. Now this already has 20 milliliters of my tank water in it. So as you can see, the reagent for the powder is on the bottom. I'm going to mix that up into the other solution. And this will be the beginning process of my test results. And I'm also going to be doing a high range pH test as well with an API test kit it seems to do pretty well for me I mean none of these test kits are always accurate maybe the Elos I find to be very accurate the other thing is is when I started off with the Elos Pro Phosphate test kit if any of you guys watched that video you have seen that I was up here at 0.25 or 0.08 whatever where you want to go on with the PO3 or 4 so, and then I did the FOSS guard, and then I was down here. Now, since I taken the FOSS guard out two weeks ago, and cleaned up my act a little bit in the tank, I'm predicting I'm going to be here at zero. This is all shaken up. You can see the powder is all dissolved in the solution, and the tank water. So, now I'm going to... Take this 20 milliliter side and I'm going to line that up with the other one and I will get my test results from that very shortly. I'm going to start off by doing my pH test result. For some reason like that looks like it's over the line. So I know I did fill it with 5 milliliters. Even though it's over the line, I know there's five milliliters of water in there. So I'm gonna take this high range pH test at five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Now my pH is usually around seven, eight to eight zero, which is not very good for corals. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna cap it. I'm not going to shake it, I'm just going to mix it in like this. And for anybody that knows the API test kits, it's already starting to look very much better compared to the 8.0 results that I usually get. I don't know how long you're supposed to wait on these, I probably should read the instructions, but usually it starts off low and then it goes higher. Well, you can see it's looking pretty good. Well, maybe you can't see. <laughs> but anyway, with my eye, I can see between an 8.2 to 8.4, which is very good. I'm sorry if the uh, camera doesn't pick it up as well, but that's where I'm at. And it will not change. And what we have here for the phosphates, you can see this is actually almost clear compared to zero what they're asking for you can see as you go up this one will change because it's reading that one through clear water well I'm back to here I'm on zero so this Chato reactor is definitely working it's been phenomenal for my tank the green hair algae is dying off my phosphates are down to zero 
that means I'm adding more oxygen in my tank, pulling more carbon dioxide out, which is awesome for my corals, awesome for my fish, especially hyper ones like the wrasse, the flame angels, starting to um, lose that ammonia and nitrite spike that I had. I ended up using that night out too, which helped out a lot. You can see this coral right here starting to open up. That was closed up for like three days. I did lose one head on my small gold torch, which is very unfortunate, but that happens. And there's nothing I can do about it now. Once they start to melt, they melt. So there's my test results. They are a fact, not an opinion. This thing works awesome. I'm suggesting everybody try to get some kind of Chato reactor going in their tank because it'll be awesome for it. This is 40B Nasty Elk. Take care.